Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. We start with new information on a murder in a restaurant parking lot in Greenwood. Court documents reveal disturbing details about the accused killer. Our Jenny Runovich joins us live tonight at 5. She's near the Ale Emporium. And Jenny, tell us, what have you learned as you've been out there today? Well, Ann and Scott, we got the probable cause for arrest, and this says this was a completely random killing. No fights, no contact between the victim and the suspect until that gunfire. And this also shares some disturbing comments that the suspect allegedly made while talking with police. Court documents paint a dark picture of what happened in the Ale Emporium parking lot. A man simply leaving dinner with friends, killed in his car by a stranger. It, it appears to be a random act of violence. And quite frankly, I've never seen anything like that before. It is a heartbreaking situation for the family. Um, they're having to deal with the aftermath of it. Police say that night surveillance video shows 52-year-old Timothy Sanito get in his car, a black SUV parked next to him. Cameras then captured movement in the SUV right when gunshots rang out, hitting Sanito, a husband, a father, suddenly killed in a vicious attack. A person goes into a restaurant and comes out, and you, you expect to be able to do that without, without any kind of a danger occurring. Just 24 hours later, a Greenwood police sergeant spotted a black SUV, recognized it might be a match, and followed it. He pulled over the Murano after it ran a red light and encountered 25-year-old Marco Antonio Gonzalez, visibly shaking, very nervous, a loaded gun in the vehicle. The magazine the sergeant saw had rounds that matched spent casings at the crime scene. Forensic tests later confirmed it. Police say a traffic camera also matched his vehicle near the crime scene that night, and Gonzalez admitted to being there. It's not a good time to be committing crimes this, this day and age. With all the technologies out there, it's very helpful to the investigators piecing together the facts to be able to make a case. After his arrest, when questioned about the murder, Gonzalez told investigators, quote, it wasn't premeditated and I didn't know the guy, said he wasn't afraid of anything. And on the way to jail, reportedly told a sergeant and former Marine, I should have joined the military. At least then I could have murdered someone and gotten away with it. So right now, Gonzalez is jailed without bond. Prosecutors tell me they will file formal charges against him by Monday. 